Ready, set, action! My kids are my producers here, so. Okay, so I went over this at orientation, but because some of you missed it, I wanted to go over it again, and I thought now you can go back to it as often as you need to. Um, this is Caroline's binder that I think is going to work great for class. If we have to change it as the year goes on to something that works better for us, we will. Um, so inside of her binder, well, this, this is a three inch binder. So you could probably get away with a smaller one, but it just kind of depends on what you want to keep in it. This is her binder she'll bring to class, okay? So in it, the very first thing she's going to have behind a tab I have here is a guide, her guide. And all I'm going to put in here is the um, pages that actually tell her what she needs to do for the week, like the weekly guide. I'm not going to put the whole packet in. Um, I use these folders that have holes in them just because I like to be able to put something in the pockets if needed and then I added a tab to it it didn't have a tab but you could really use anything and you can really even make your own tabs so so anyway this is what I had so she'll have the guide there and then the next thing I have is grammar and I did she wanted to put hers in order of the way I'm planning to do class every day and that's in your family handbook. Um, but you don't have, this is totally up to you. So the first one here is grammar, which is Latin. And in here, I am going to have, same thing, they're all pocket folders. And then I have paper for um, her to put, do, well, she'll use her Latin A workspace to do her work. Um, but then she has extra paper here if she needs it for writing things down. Um, that's here. <coughs> And I'll have some of that in class as well, but it doesn't hurt for them to have some extra with them. Next is exposition, which is our writing and reading, our, you know, books we're reading, the papers we're writing um, in here. So same thing, I've got that folder. I have paper. Hang on, Carter, you have to stop, okay? That's in my video now. Here is a paper that they can write on, but then in the pockets, I'll have, that's where she'll put her paper that she's bringing to class, or whatever it is that she's bringing to class for that week. The next one is debate. In this pocket, I have a plain paper. This is what Caroline is going to do her maps on, simple plain paper. Some people choose to use a <coughs> drawing <coughs> sketch pad to do their math work. I'm choosing to do it here. She'll use that paper to do her math work and then she will, they will bring to class their favorite map from the week, their best map from the week. And so I am putting in a little sleeve here, a plastic sleeve that she can put her best map in for the week and bring it to class. And then I will take this out of here and put it in her portfolio that we save for homeschool evaluations and save our work from the year and we'll just move this right in there. So I'll just save one every week. I won't save all her other ones, but she'll do them every day as practice, bring her favorite one to class. That's what they're supposed to do. They're also going to create some kind of geography glossary or flashcards. And so for Caroline, I thought we would do a um, glossary. I just got a cheap spiral notebook and stuck it in here and she will just use one page per word that we learn in geography and she'll write down what the word is the definition and then um, we'll talk about other ideas of what they can do with their geography glossary they can draw a picture of what that geography term looks like if it was a mountain or a river or whatever it is or they can <coughs> write down like a place where they find that thing that we're learning on the globe um, some people do flashcards instead of a glossary and just put them on different flashcards, but whichever way, this is what I'm planning for Caroline to do. Okay, the next thing is logic, which is math. Caroline does her math in a spiral notebook, but she will need to bring, everyone will need to bring one to two problems to class each week. And so I have paper here, I have a place for her to put the problems she brings to class. I'm asking, I told y'all this at orientation, I believe, but I'm asking them to bring their math book to class on the first day. I don't necessarily think they will need it every day, 
um, but at least on the first day, because on the first day I want to walk through their math book with them and show them, hey, here's what's in there. Here's the table of contents. Here's um, the glossary in the back. I'm, I'm going to encourage them, but they'll have to have parent permission to tear their glossary out and staple it together and keep it with them. So if they come across math terms they don't know, they can look them up in the glossary and figure out what that is. It's a helpful thing that we've never thought about using before, but that we're gonna learn about this year. So um, that's there for logic. Then we have research. And for the research strand, you can use a sketchbook again, or you can use something simpler. Um, for us, Caroline is going to use just computer paper again, which I have stored in here for her. And I have notebook paper as well. And what they're going to do in research each week is they're gonna go home, research some thing, and um, it'll be different different times of the year, but they have to draw that thing, and then they have to write about that thing. And we'll explain that more in detail later. But what I'm gonna have Caroline do is use a sleeve for that as well. She'll put her picture in the sleeve and her paper on the back, so when she presents in class, she can hold that up and show her picture while she's reading her paper off the back or her outline whatever it may be, and then I'll save that in these sleeves. So we'll use that. No. And then I just have some extra paper there for as, as needed for that. And then, um, which strand was I on there? Research. Oh, and the last one here is reasoning. Um, the reasoning one probably doesn't mean anything. Everything they do is in books, but I have a place for that in case we need a place for that. Um, otherwise, that is how I'm going to put together her binder. And then what I'm going to do is have one at home that's her portfolio. The one will save all the work in from the year. And in that binder, I'm going to put tabs as well. Um, maybe not folder tabs, but tabs as well with every subject. And then as she does stuff like those papers or the drawings or the maps, then I can just take them out after a couple weeks, gather what's in her in here, and move them into her portfolio. And then just keep that that way that year, and it will make it this simple, um, and find everything they need right here. So um, I hope that's helpful on, the, on her binder, what we're going to do with binders. And if you have any questions, please let me know.